Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome once more to Porn News Today Live. I'm your hostess, Alexandra Mayers, formerly known as adult actress Monica Foster, owner, operator, and founder of PornNewsToday.com. Alana Evans and James Bartolet really know how to party. This is an article added to trpwl.com, June 17th, 2021. And before I read it, I do want to note that, at least in my opinion, if this union is going to continue, Sean Tompkins, aka TRPWL, seriously needs to be considered as an officer of this union because few care about the health and safety and well being of the adult performers like he does. When he came on the scene, I hated him. But when I look back in hindsight, thank God for him. And the reason I say that is because if it weren't for him being as harsh on me as he was many years ago, I may not be alive today. I would probably still drink too much. I would probably be running around acting stupid. And I probably wouldn't love myself as much as I do today. So to you, Mr. Tompkins, thank you for being a faraway acquaintance that I never met, but who saw a little something in me that at the time I didn't see in myself. I can't be the only one offended by this picture. For those who aren't caught up, after Dakota passed, meaning Dakota Sky, APAG and James Bartolet decided to have a party. Instead of making a cool banner with a picture of Dakota, they decided to make a red carpet event and go full AVN. The only problem is AVN is a legitimate organization, while APAG and Bartolet are what's wrong with the adult industry. And I wholeheartedly agree with Tompkins and when it comes to that statement. Because Bartolet is a liar. And I would testify in a court of law as to that because I have solid proof that he's a liar. If you are an active adult actress or actor, I sincerely ask that you avoid galaxy publicity like the plague. The only thing I see in that picture is a guy who gave Dakota drugs, then once again used the death of an industry worker to promote himself and do even more drugs. And he did it with the full backing of APAC President for Life, Alana Evans, and the rest of the hags at APAC. And do you think Misty Stone stays with Bartolet because he writes great PR? And Misty, if you ever see this, it's time to get it together. It's time to speak out about things that you've needed to speak out about for a long time, girl. Angela White, Abella Danger, Riley Reed, Sherry DeVille, Adriana Shashik, legendary wordsmith Peter Warren, Aaliyah Love, Brett Rossi, those are stars. Looks like the A night of stars was more of a quote unquote, line up the coke and give me a straw, end quote, get together. Instead of making this about Dakota, you made it about yourself. Like who the fuck makes a banner like that? And just look at it. Look at it. This Dakota Sky death is bigger than what happened to August Ames, and we still don't really know the truth about that. And we might not ever. Adult actors and actresses who are active right now, my heart goes out to you because the people that are your leaders, they don't give two figs about you. The people who do care about you, they get trashed. They have their entire reputations demolished. 
They're called crazy. Their accomplishments outside of the industry are diminished. They're blacklisted. But that's who you listen to. Okay? I'm just saying. There was a time when APAC, mainly Melissa Hill, called out James Bartolet for his predator-like behavior. Nowadays, APAC parties with him. And that's true. Way back when I had a falling out with Melissa Hill, but one thing I'll say about Melissa Hill is that her heart, when it comes to her peers in the adult entertainment industry, her heart's in the right place. She cares. I have like four or five people in the adult industry that I consider friends. None of them like James. But if they were like him, do you think I'd attend a drug party with him to celebrate one of their passings? I'd probably beat him for trying to interject himself into it, then pour a protein drink all over him. Like the witch in the Wizard of Oz, he would melt away. You would think that APAG president for life, Alana Evans, and the thousand members she claims to have could come together and do their own thing without the guy who gave her drugs. They could call it, quote, the woke menopausal white women party, end quote. Disgusting. It's been over a decade since I performed within the Los Angeles adult entertainment industry. And nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. And that's a shame. So when the powers that be in that world complain about being cast in a bad light, Perhaps it's because you're weak. And perhaps it's because you let individuals who have absolutely no business being in there matriculate among you and proclaim themselves to be industry insiders and power players. At this point, honestly, from my perspective, adult entertainment industry, you're not creating pornography. You're creating abusography and snuff films. You're getting away with it legally for now, but you won't always. I'm gonna go back and crawl under my rock now, as some of you like to say about me, but I did wanna come out and share some recent posts that were written by my longtime acquaintance and porn's top blogger, Sean Tompkins, AKA TRPW. Take care, everyone, and please love yourself because often the people claiming to love you, they don't. You are your own best friend. You and your higher power, which hopefully is God. When they say that the kingdom of heaven is within you, it really is.